Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I am here in the office because I told a few of you that, well, Joe and I were on a mug collecting binge and they just came in. I have to say that I am so excited. We actually picked up these mugs from a number of different sources and I'm very excited to share them with you because, well, as you know, I'm, I love the coffee. I love the coffee, man. I love the coffee. Uh, and, and these mugs all have various different meanings and different, I guess, um, just, I, I just love them. I really do. I really love these mugs. So the first one I'm going to show you is very different from most of the mugs that I regularly use and that's of course pizza john pizza john this was a special dftba order from i believe november ish of last year and because of our vacation because of our various trips i had to wait until now for it to be shipped from the united states so out of all the mugs that we actually picked up this was the one that I have actually used. So all the all of these other mugs over here on the table, I haven't even really even washed or had any beverages out of. But this one has been used several times since I got it. I want to say towards the end of last week. I I love it. And uh, John, I, I still remember February fifth, the chin waxing incident. So yes, I have this. So I'll put this over here. Uh, I, I'm going to go over some of, and the rest are all Starbucks mugs, and some of them are legitimate Starbucks mugs that we picked up at Starbucks, and some of them we found online, and we're not sure if they're legit Starbucks mugs or if they are the damaged goods from the Chinese factory, but they're in the Starbucks-esque appearance so uh, first up this is probably one of my favorite mugs here and this is the Bali mug I love the color of it I, I love the dancers on here with the headdress for the various Hindu ceremonies I, I love the Hindu temple on the back the pagoda here the stupa it's, it's brown it's really nice just a oh, weight it's, it's it's fantastic and Bali is very special for me because, well, that's one of the places that we went to on our honeymoon. So, yeah, I, I love the Bali mug of these when I have them washed. This is number one I'm going to use, number one. All right, keeping in that vein, we have the Paris mug here. Uh, and as you can see, this you know these are the ones that probably the the knockoffs or the the damaged goods because the paint just really isn't quite there. So you have Paris on this side, and I, I have no idea what what this is on the back. But this is more for Joe. Uh, she did go to Paris. Um, hi Clara. Hi Clara. Uh, met up with Clara when she went on her European cruise last fall. We have the California mug. So California light blue. And then Giant Sequoia with the car tunnel, which means a lot to me because it's a national park. I was born in California, so this is a very special mug for us. I really like this blue. Both, both Joe and I like the, the sky blue aspect of it. Uh, moving on, we have a dark blue. So we have London. We have Big Ben here, the Tower Bridge. Uh, and just the cityscape on, on this side. Um, neither one of us have been to London. We both desperately want to go to London. I, I just really want to go to the UK. I want to explore there. And I still want to go around the Top Gear track. So Jeremy, I'll, I'm still willing to take you on in a reasonably priced car around your track to see which one of us can do it better. I, I know you have more experience, but I got a lead foot. Uh, also, the Beijing mug. Great Wall of China on this side. Uh, I'm assuming Forbidden City on this side. Neither one of us have really explored China, 
but most of the time when we do head back to the United States, we fly a budget Chinese airline, still really great airline, but we always have a layover through Beijing. So Beijing actually reminds me of my family and us going home. So that's why we have this mug. Now that is the conclusion of the old style Starbucks mugs. Now. They have a new series out. It's called You Are Here. So the rest of the mugs are from the You Are Here collection. And only two of them are picked up that I know for sure at a Starbucks location. And I'm really interested to see if we get any of the You Are Here mugs for Korea. If the You Are Here branches out and starts going global. I, I still like these cups. The You Are Here mugs are a little bit smaller and well, you'll see what I mean. So coming up, we have first the New York You Are Here mug. It's yellow. It, it's more of a pop art type of infographic look to it. So you have the skyline here, uh, the bridges, uh, Statue of Liberty here. Uh, this is a very special city for Joe. She really likes New York. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put all these things now. Uh, so that's that's that mug there. Uh, Washington, D.C. So we have Washington Monument, red, white, and blue, White House, uh, Cherry Blossoms, Lincoln Memorial, and maybe Smithsonian down there. Uh, my brother lives in Washington, D.C. I love the museums in D.C. I think it's just a fantastic, fantastic place to go. Uh, if you haven't been to Washington, D.C., so many things to see and do there. Really, really love it. Uh, moving on, we have Portland. Yes, so uh, the roses here. Portland has a very famous rose garden. Uh, the mountains here, the park. Maybe this is supposed to represent Forest Park. Uh, Hi guys, how you guys doing? We have Gary the Veil, Carl the Mail Mailman, and Russ McGarry. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I didn't see it. Oh, I guess this is the rose, in fact. And then, of course, cloudy skies. Uh, Portland is just beautiful. Becky and Tor are good friends. Also live there. Um, God, I really miss you guys. We need to get together, get out there, play some washers. Play some washers, absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here because I'm running out of space over here. Um, let's see. I will go with, speaking of Portland, which is also known for its coffee, we have the Pike's Place Market Cup. The original Starbucks here. Uh, whatever, maybe the wharf, uh, the cruise terminal, all the rain. Really nice mug. You can see the color on the inside there. Um, really nice. I'm looking forward to drinking out of this just because it is a, a Starbucks mug. Uh, moving on in the, I would say, West Coast vein, we have San Francisco, baby. So all my friends out in San Francisco. Big. This is probably Joe's most favorite city in the United States. So Ray, Kelly, Christopher, just... Uh, Gosh, you know, uh, seagulls, the Golden Gate Bridge, the clouds, the fogs, the harbor, the skyline. Really nice mug. Red on the inside as well. Really, really nice. And, and these mugs do have some weight. They're, they're, they're less volume, but they do have substantial weight to them. Moving on to one of my favorite cities in the world, in the United States, we have Las Vegas with, of course, the iconic, the iconic sign here on Las Vegas Boulevard, slot machines, uh, I don't know why the heart's there, the mountains, and uh, yeah, so red as well. Uh, I went to university just a few hours away from Las Vegas, so I used to go to Las Vegas all the time, and I still have cousins that live there, so Phil, Armando, Adam, Hillary, hi. Uh, let's see, more mugs. We did San Francisco. So just two more mugs to go, and they are from our home state of Arizona. So let's kick off with the Arizona mug. So very much a tribal type design, more of an orange yellow. So we have cacti with the blossoms, uh, striations here representing probably the Grand Canyon, the Native American type design for the sun, uh, golf courses, of course. And yeah, that's it. So uh, there's the Arizona. 
And the last one we have is, of course, Phoenix. They don't have Mesa Gilbert, but Phoenix. So more cacti, sun, lizard, superstition mountains. I have no idea what that is. Some adobe houses. But yeah, so those are the new mugs, the new haul, which now means Joe and I have a huge problem. Where the hell are we going to put them all? We had to buy more storage when we got the mugs from our last trip. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 new mugs. 14 new mugs. Ah. But you know what? I love them so much. Which means I almost, I, I think I have enough mugs right now that I could have a different mug twice a day and still not repeat in a single month. And I don't know whether or not to be proud or very disappointed <laughs> in that. Let me know what you think. Should I be proud or disappointed in the number of mugs that Joe and I have collected? So that is it for today. I want to thank you for sticking around towards the end of this video. And if you did, let's see. Um, What's your favorite color? Leave that down in the comments as well. In addition to the question, put 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 your favorite color. That way I know you stuck around to the end. By the way, mine, my, mine fluctuates. It's either green, red, or blue. It just really depends on my mood. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stay true to yourself. And always, be awesome.